I uh, wanted to go over some things. We're having a lot of questions on this, these new increases on the fast track programs. And I wanted to uh, just kind of go over some things that you didn't know on to, to help you make a decision so you're not going to look back and kick yourself in the butt for making a, a, a bad decision. I uh, wanted to tell you a little bit of history that might help you make a decision on this. Uh, St. Kitts, uh, I think it was around 2014 or thereabouts. It's been around 10, 12 years ago, thereabouts there. Uh, they lost their visa-free status to Canada, and they've never have been able to get that back. And I'm going to tell you something. There were a lot of people in St. Kitts that were really pissed off over this, especially people that maybe really didn't see anything, you know, from the citizenship by investment business. All they knew is every time they, you know, wanted to go to Canada, they, they had to get a, a visa uh, that would last so long, okay? But it was just a pain in the butt to get that done. And so the reason I'm bringing this out to you, um, this has been like 10 years ago. They never have been able to get this back. And the reason I'm bringing this out to you is once a country loses its visa-free status to certain countries, whether it's one country or a group of countries, uh, it can take years and years and years to get that back. So it's not like the country can, they make a mistake and they come back and say, oh, we'll just correct that. And then they correct it, but the visa-free status to those countries don't come back, okay? And the reason I'm bringing this out to you is I'm seeing this happen again. I think it's gonna happen again. Not sure, but I'm, I'm just kind of looking at this kind of like it happened with, uh, uh, with Canada. And I'll tell you the story with Canada, too. What happened was, uh, uh, to my understanding, I don't have all the facts in front of me, but some, someone from Iran had gotten a, uh, some sort of diplomatic type uh, passport uh, with St. Kitts, and he went to Canada, and they got him crossing over the border, and... Uh, uh, to make a long story short, Canada got really pissed off and they canceled the visa free status uh, that Canada had with St. Kitts and they've never been able to get it back. OK, now you can still get a visa to go there, but I'm, I'm telling you, it's not visa free anymore. OK, so uh, I see the same thing happening with St. Lucia. Let me just tell you why. Now, maybe St. Lucia will throw the talent and go up on their their rates on their donation option up to the two hundred thousand limit that the EU commission has stipulated, but maybe they don't, okay? Now, I, I was reading an article uh, where the article was talking about, well, if St. Lucia doesn't go up on their rates, then 95% of the business in the citizenship market will go there. Uh, I don't think you're going to see that, okay? <laughs> All right, and I think what you're going to see is if it does happen, you're going to get a lot of pissed off people because I have no doubt, okay, that the EU... Uh, otherwise they lose their, they become a wimp. If they don't end up coming in and, and penalizing St. Lucia, okay, guess what's going to happen? St. Kitts and everybody else is going to drop their rates down. And the EU commission knows that, okay? So what are they going to do? They're going to strip them their visa-free travel. Okay, now what what's that going to make a, a difference for as far as um, St. Lucia goes? You're looking at losing 29 countries that are Schengen countries, these are some of those traveled countries in the world in Europe, okay? And so you're looking at uh, maybe never getting those countries back, okay, once they're lost, okay? Now, what's your next step after you do that? Can you get by without using those countries? Or are you going to be one of these guys that look back and say, damn, I should have listened to Tom and just gone and got a, you know, a passport and, uh, and there are ways I'm going to show you here in a minute and pay less than St. Lucia, okay, on the government fees. Okay, but this is the key right here. Once you lose that, that visa-free status, and then you're looking for another type country that's going to have the visa-free the Schengen countries. And let's say now you pick another fast-track program of the Caribbean. Okay, I, I saw this happen with a YouTuber. He, he does a lot of YouTubing on, and I won't mention the guy's name, but he got a St. Lucia passport. Okay, and then he discovered he made a mistake because he should have gone with a country that didn't have an income tax. And he, all you do is pay a little bit more, and he could have gotten that. But now he went, he paid all over again for a brand new passport in uh, Antigua. Okay, so now because Antigua doesn't have an income tax, and they got more visa-free travel also than uh, than Saint Lucia. 
So now what's happened is when you look at the passports of St. Lucia and Antigua, or you can throw uh, St. Kitts in there, almost all of those countries overlap. I mean, you, you've got a few more visa free with St. Kitts and Antigua and then Antigua than, more so than uh, St. Lucia. But there's just a huge overlapping of countries. And so what you've done is you've basically thrown the, the passport this guy got in St. Lucia was money thrown down a rat hole, okay? And if you end up having to get another passport, okay, because now you've lost all your Schengen visa-free countries, and now you're looking for another fast-track program, you've done the same thing he did. You're just basically now getting another passport where it overlaps almost the same countries except for the, you've lost your Schengen countries, okay, with St. Lucia, uh, and then what happens is now you're going out, you've paid out, what, over $100,000 because it's not just 100000 in St. Lucia. you got other fees on top of that. So you've basically thrown that down a rat hole, okay? And I can tell you, I think almost pretty sure uh, if they don't do it now when they lose their visa-free countries, they'll do it then, but they'll find out it's too late then because I don't think you'll see an instant turnaround with St. Lucia. Once government uh, officials make decisions on stuff, man, it takes them forever to make a change if you ever see a change. So, you know, you could just basically waste your money down a rat hole. And, and then if you, what happens if they do give them the visa-free countries back and then you've just got a St. Kitts or Antigua passport and then you kick yourself in the butt again because now the visa-free countries have come back, but you've got a second passport you didn't have to get to begin with, okay? My whole thing is two things, okay? First of all, St. Lucia is going to throw the towel in and go way up on their rates like everybody else, or they're going to lose that 30 visa free countries to the Schengen countries. And they're going to be really pissed off with themselves for being slow on this. Okay. My suggestion would be look at the fees you're paying with countries that have already complied. Okay. Then, you know, you're not going to lose that visa free countries. It, 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 uh, at least on this this time around, they used constantly coming out with new things, okay, that they want uh, the other fast track programs to, to jump out and the blacklisted countries that jump out. And, you know, this is how they, they do business. But at least the four have gone up. And that's, of course, uh, Antigua, St. Kitts, Grenada, and Dominica have gone up on their rates. Now, uh, St. Lucia has not. Whether they go up or not, uh, you know, your guess is as good as mine, but I'll tell you something. I think you're playing Russian roulette with a lot of money when you fork out taking a chance with St. Lucia right now because if they do, uh, you know, if they don't go up on their rates, then, you know, that passport's going to be uh, just a limp piece of paper. Uh, you have to get visas uh, a lot of different places that you go to. Uh, my, my suggestion would be pick a country that's already comply with this, but don't go with the donation option. As I mentioned before, St. Kitts has got the lowest government fee at $25,000. Uh, Antigua has got the second lowest. I'm talking about all the real estate option for one person. And theirs is several thousand dollars more, okay? But it's still a lot, lot less, tens of thousands of dollars less than what you're going to pay in that government fee in St. Lucia, at the cheap rate they're, they're charging right now, to me, it doesn't make sense. I think you're going to look back and you're going to get pissed off with yourself if you don't take the direction I'm telling you right now, because I've seen this happen before. Once those visa-free countries are lost, it might not ever come back in your lifetime. I mean, this is how slow government officials are. My suggestion is look at what you've got that's on the table and move with it and go with the options that have the cheapest government fees. That's the best way to go. You, you'll look back and and, and, and be thankful that you did this. And like I said, we've got a uh, developer right now. You don't have to mess with anything. They do the rent, uh, the rentals. Uh, they give you the rent up front. If you go with a leaseback program, uh, seven years of rents paid up to you up front. And you don't have to worry about renters. You don't have any maintenance fees uh, on that seven year period. It's uh, they've taken all the, the negatives out. But what it does too is that you know, uh, it puts you in a country that doesn't have an income tax, no capital gains tax, no estate tax, no inheritance tax. And you, you know that you've uh, saved this, uh, 
the, the 29 Schengen countries from losing those uh, visa-free status. And I think you'll look back and be glad of what you did. If you want to know more on this, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. Just ask for some help. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button and write your screen right here. And you get new videos automatically as they come out. And I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Take care.